Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to display the day of the week that a particular date falls on in Microsoft Access. Okay, so you got a database and you got some dates, let's say order dates right here. And for your reporting, you want to know what day of the week does that fall on? Maybe you want to figure out what day of the week your shop is the busiest, for example. So let's go ahead and create a query, create query design. Now you can use this function in a query, in a report, in a form, in your VBA, pretty much anywhere you want. So I'll bring in my order table, close that. All right, and let's just bring in the order ID and the order date. And then right here, I'm gonna create a calculated query field and use the weekday function. Now, if you've never made a calculated query field before, go watch this video on calculated fields. It's free, it's on my website, it's on my YouTube channel. You'll find a link down below. Click on the more button and you'll find all this information down below the video. Go watch this first and then come on back. Okay, so I'm gonna come right here and create a calculated query field. So I'm gonna come right here and create a calculated query field. Let's make some room. I'm gonna call this guy day of week colon that's the name i assigned to it then i'm going to use the weekday function so it's weekday open parentheses and then the name of the field so in this case order date just like that and then press tab and let me zoom in so you can see that better i'll hit shift f2 there it is now i don't use any spaces in the field name so i don't need those brackets but access will put those on there for me if you use spaces in your field names bad 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 then you should put those brackets on there by yourself otherwise you'll get errors Hit OK, and now I'll run the query, and there we go. There's the day of the week. And I'm using the ISO date standard, which is year, month, day. That way everybody internationally knows what it is. I got a video on that, too, if you don't know what that is. Again, there's another free video for you, but the date format you're using doesn't matter. Now, what this function returns is a number representing the day of the week. The default is 1 is Sunday. And if you look on Microsoft's website, you'll find down here the default right there is Sunday, number one. Okay. Now, if you want to change that value, you can specify an optional first day of the week. That's what this first day of week parameter is. So if you want your first day of the week to start on, let's say, Monday, just change that parameter to two. Here's how you do it. Go back to design. Come in here. I'll zoom in again so you can see it better. And then right here, put a comma two. Now in the query, you have to use the numbers. If you're using VBA, you can use those constants. All right, in VBA, you can actually type in VB Monday and Access will understand what that is. You can't use that in a query. All right, so hit OK and then run this again. And now you can see these values have changed because now day one is Monday. So if you look at the calendar, here's January 14th of 2021, right? It's right there, which is day four, because that's day one, right? One, two, three, four. I almost never use this. I've never had in my 30 years of building access applications, anyone want to change the first day of the week. So I just always stick with the default, which is Sunday. But sometimes, yeah, you get weird clients. They might want to do weird things. Okay, so let's put that back to just the default, which is Sunday. And there we go. Now, this day of the week number isn't of much use, unless you're trying to count like, you know, some, some kind of, I don't know, differences in between i don't know whatever what you want to see <laughs> normally is the weekday name like monday tuesday wednesday so for that we use the weekday name function so let's call this day of week name or x or whatever you want to call it and we're going to use the weekday name function and we're going to send to it that number that we just got which is day of week or you could put weekday order date inside of those parentheses too, if you only want to do this in one field. Okay. Here, I'll zoom in so you can see it better. There it is, right? That's my day of week name. Weekday name of the day of week. Ready? And go. There you go. That's pretty. Thursday, Thursday, Sunday. Okay. If you want to abbreviate it, then come in here after that weekday name, go right there and go comma true. True means you want to abbreviate it. Hit OK and run it. And there you go. There's the abbreviated version. 
And how did I know that? Well, Microsoft site, of course. Microsoft's got a function guide for pretty much everything in Access and Excel and everything in here. All right, you just got to know where to look for it. Okay? Part of my job is to teach you what's available. All right, now that you know there's a function called weekday name, now you know how to go to use it. All right? Just Google it. You'll find it. All right, there's the abbreviate. See? Weekday name takes three bits of information. The weekday, that's the date itself, right? The number. The abbreviate is a true or false Boolean value. And then there's that first day of week option again. You can change that down here too. So that's how you do it in a query. Okay, pretty straightforward and simple. How do you do it in a form or a report? Well, you just make a text box and display that. Let's say, for example, this is a delivery date and you want to put next to it that, you know, what day of the week it falls on to make sure your people don't schedule something for Sunday, whatever. Just come in here, right? I'll just copy this one, copy, paste, slide it over here. We'll get rid of that label that comes with it. All right. And then what we'll do is we'll open this guy up, okay? And I'll call this just uh, W day, whatever you want to name it. Now the control source, customer sense is a date. So we have to first get the weekday of that date, right? We got to convert it to weekday first. So we're going to go in here and we're going to say equals weekday of, whoops, of customer sense. Now that'll give us a number, right? Let's take a peek, see what we got, save it. Come back over here. All right, so that's a five. But I don't want the five. I want to see Sunday or whatever the, the weekday name is. So this is where you do two of them at once, right? You come in here. Now you'll take that whole thing and you'll feed that into the weekday name function. So you'll say weekday name and then put parentheses around that whole thing. If you want to abbreviate it, put true right there. Okay, that's how you double those functions up. Ready? Hit OK. Save it. I'm going to close it. Close it. Open it back up again. And pff, there's a Thursday. See, and if I change that to today, it's a Friday. Look at that. And what I like to do is I like to take these guys and make this so the user knows they can't change that, right? Because that's a calculated field. You can't update that. So let's just make it gray. That's just for display purposes only. Okay. So there you go. There's your weekday function. If you want to learn more about date functions, I cover them in exquisite detail in my Access Expert Level 27 and 28 classes. It's a two-part series on all the date time functions that come in Microsoft Access. I do a whole comprehensive guide to functions, right? This is part three, but if you want just dates and times, it's 27 and 28, all kinds of different stuff in here. I mean, you, you name it, if it has to deal with dates and times, I cover it in these two classes. And I also have this thing called a date time seminar, which again, covers everything, you name it, that has to do with dates and times and tons of functions and ways to use these dates and times and all these functions. <laughs> okay. All kinds of cool stuff in here. I will put links to everything I talked about in today's video in the links down below. If you like this, make sure you give me a thumbs up, like this video, share it with your friends. And if you have any questions, post them down below in the comments section. Hope you learned something today.